and uh, what we are looking for, we are waiting for um, the mission, uh, important international mission to uh, the Polizia uh, power plant, the mission which would of course be led by, uh, probably uh, will be led by uh, IAEA as um, a leading uh, agency in the field, but also uh, containing uh, from experts, uh, from different international experts from different countries and also UN experts. Uh, ideally, uh, I would love to see uh, DG Grossi together with uh, Secretary General Guterres uh, in Ukraine. Uh, but we understand that it would be a different composition of, of, of this mission. Why this mission is, impos is, is really important? Um, it is important uh, to uh, bring real experts who could uh, uh, um, make their conclusions, uh, verify things which are at the station, and uh, uh, bring, uh, actually just uh, their uh, appearance at the station will uh, improve already the level of uh, safety at the station. And uh, uh, unfortunately, until today, uh, this mission, IAEA-led mission, was impossible uh, to be conducted in Ukraine uh, due to Russia's actions. Uh, first, uh, because of uh, indiscriminate shelling of Ukraine's territory, in particular uh, Zaporizhia region and uh, Enerhadar city. And second, uh, because Russia is blocking any access uh, to the Zaporizhia NPP. Uh, I think that uh, uh, so being uh, representative to IAEA and other international organizations, we will uh, use all possible channels uh, of diplomacy uh, to uh, uh, bring uh, uh, IAEA and UN closer uh, to conducting this mission. We really need it urgently, as soon as possible not later, I would say not later than end of this month. This is uh, our aim. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, we could have uh, uh, a progress uh, being together, uh, supported by the European Union and supported by uh, all our partners. Uh, we will be able to achieve uh, this uh, agreement on modalities of conducting such a mission to, to, to Ukraine and to Ukrainian um, nuclear power uh, station.